Hello champions and happy Friday. Today we're going to talk about how to divide numbers ending in zeros using our knowledge of place value. You're going to do a great job with this video, I know it, and so does Mr. Smiles. Let's dive right in. When we divide by num numbers ending in zeros, we can use our knowledge of place value to help us. First, what's 24 divided by 3? 24 divided by 3 is 8. When I divide 240 divided by 3, I'm dividing 24 tens by 3. How many tens would that be? That would be 8 tens. Write that number in standard form. It's 80. When I divide 2400 divided by 3, that's dividing 24 hundreds by 3. How many hundreds would that give me? That would give me 8 hundreds. Write that number in standard form. It's 800. When I divide 24,000 by 3, I'm dividing 24 thousands by 3. What's 24 how many thousands would that be? It would be eight thousands. Write that number in standard form. It's eight thousand. So when I divide, I can use division facts and my knowledge of place values to help me. Let's do another set of examples. What's six divided by two? It's three. Sixty divided by two is six tens divided by two. How many tens is that? It's three tens. Three tens written in standard form is 30. Six hundreds divided by two. If I divide six hundreds by two, how many hundreds is that? It's three. Write that number in standard form. It's three hundred. What about 6,000 divided by 2? If I divide 6 thousands by 2, how many thousands is that? It's 3. Write that number in standard form. It's 3,000. Let's do one more series of examples. 18 divided by 6. What's 18 divided by 6? It's 3. One hundred eighty divided by six. What's one hundred eighty divided by six? Well, what's eighteen tens divided by six? How many tens would that be? That would be three tens. Write that number in standard form. It's thirty. One thousand eight hundred divided by six. I'm dividing eighteen hundreds into six groups. How many hundreds would be in each group? Three hundreds would be in each group. Write that number in standard form. It's three hundred. Eighteen thousand divided by six. How many thousands would be in each group? Three thousands would be in each group. Write that number in standard form. It's three thousand. What's fifteen thousand? divided by 5. Well, how many thousands would I have? I would have three thousands. How would I write that number in standard form? It's three thousand. What's 210,000 divided by 7? If I divide 21 ten thousands, into seven groups. How many ten thousands will be in each group? Three. How do I write that number in standard form? Three ten thousands. It's thirty thousand. Let's do another. 280 divided by four, or 28 tens divided by four. If I split 28 tens into four groups, how many would be in each group? 7. 
How do I write seven tens in standard form? It's 70. Now you try three problems. What's 5,600 divided by 7? It's 800. 56 hundreds split into seven groups would make 800. Now let's try another. What's 81,000 divided by 9? If I split 81,000s into 9 groups, what would I get? That's 9,000. There would be 9,000s written in standard form is 9,000. 270 divided by 3. If I split 27 tens into 3 groups, what would I get? The answer is 90. There would be 9 tens in each group. That makes 90. Now go to IXL. Select 4th grade and do skill E14. Divide numbers ending in zeros by one-digit numbers. If you finish early, you can get onto Prodigy.